was up world so today is april 13th 2022 and i am just finishing up some homework i did at school so yeah today's assignment was actually about discussion on anorexia and bulimia and guys i have to tell you like it's sad like honestly about how many people struggle with body image and how can lead to the eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia. And it got me thinking, you know, like, we've got to be on the lookout, especially with media today. Yes, there's lots of body, body, bodies, yeah, body positivity out there, which is great. There's a great campaign out there that's fighting back against the negative campaign by a lot of companies out there about how you have to fit the perfect body type. Which guys, there's no perfect body type. We're all created in God's image. We're all beautiful in our own way. So we have to stop buying that narrative. And a lot of problem comes with, I've noticed, is a lot of the problem can come from reality TV. From certain shows such as The Bachelor and Bachelorette. You notice the contestants are always all the same body type, you know, and the bachelor or bachelorette on the same show is always the same, you know, guys a certain height, through a certain build, the girls are the certain weight, the certain body type. And watching it enough and seeing that as portrayed as, oh, that's the goal, that's the obstacle, or the, what you want to get to, it can lead you down to a slippery slope, especially if you're not careful. That's why you, it's key to have confidence and be you, I should say, be healthy and be you. Yes, I think it's good that if you want to aim for certain goals, like say you want to cut out cal uh, sugar for a week or two, because you're wanting to lose a few weights, you can do it, but you have to do it healthy and moderately. And once that goal is reached, don't keep on pushing the goalposts farther and farther down. Because eventually that can lead to a train of thought where it's never going to be reached. You're always going to be putting that down, trying to lose that weight. And if you don't do it healthy and take it to the extreme, you're going to end up at unhealthy levels. Your body is actually going to start metabolizing itself, eating its own muscle, and which can lead to a plethora of issues. So don't like uh, don't go overboard with it. But the same can also be said for the other side. Body positivity, yes, it's important, but you can't be like, oh, I shouldn't want to have to lose weight, or I shouldn't want to have to have these weight goals of putting on muscle and whatever, and just eating whatever I want. You have to have health, because by doing so, you could go to the other end, to the unhealthy end. There's two spectrums. So what I'm saying is, eat what you want. If you want to eat that donut and treat yourself, treat yourself. At the same time, if you want to try to cut back on certain foods and be healthy, do it. Do it smart. Do it healthy moderately. Like, make sure you have moderation in all things in your diet. And exercise regularly. And you know what? If your body type isn't losing a certain, to getting to a certain weight, whatever that is on the high end or low end, be happy with that. As long as you're eating healthy, eating moderately and exercising, you're healthy. That's what matter, it matters in the end, guys. So my main goal is be healthy, be you. hey oh, that's a great price. Eh, not really. But hey, speaking of gas and health, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you 